I wanted to give you the three different valley types there are on a roof. The very first one I wanted to give you is the woven valley. The second one would be traditionally what we call the California cut. And the third valley option is the upgraded valley metal. Let's walk through the different types of valleys. This first version is going to be the woven valley. Typically, old school guys, they only would weave the valleys. And we weave valleys here where each shingle is woven together, anywhere where we have a roof slope that is very low. The problem with woven valleys is if you walk in the center of them, it has the ability to crack the shingle. So we don't traditionally like to use these unless it's a low slope section. The second type of roof valley system that we have is traditionally called the California cut. 80% of all roofs have this version of a valley. So what we do is we line this valley with a leak barrier. Some people traditionally call it ice and water shield. And then we weave the bottom two rows of shingles. And then this is what's considered the California cut. So each individual shingle goes all the way up the valley. And then we come back and we cut this, creating this California cut. Is because this is a full shingle, water stays in this trough area, making sure that a roof doesn't leak. The California cut is typically what 80% of all residential roofing systems have installed. And finally, the third type of valley system that's available is traditionally called the open valley or W valley. And the reason they call it W valley is because it makes the form of a W. This kind of gives a little bit of a, a beauty factor when installed on a roof. It comes in three different types of metal, aluminum, steel, and copper, with copper being the most expensive Typically, you'll see this on houses that use designer shingles or houses where they want to make their neighbors jealous.